going to show you how to make the Thai style pork barbecue. It's called Muping. Let's get started. You need one kilo of pork shoulder or kasim, one half head garlic, one fourth cup shallots, one fourth cup yansui roots, one half teaspoon white pepper, one half teaspoon black pepper, one fourth cup oyster sauce, one fourth cup dark sweet soy sauce called ketchup manis, one third cup brown sugar, two tablespoons oil, one cup coconut milk, one fourth cup tapioca starch or cornstarch. And then you need barbecue sticks you soak in water for at least four hours. Use pork shoulder because the fat is marbled or sometimes they call that pork neck. And then you slice them thinly like this, diagonal. And it should always be across the grain. The grain goes this way, so you should slice this way. It should be across. We have one kilo here. All right, we start by putting together garlic. These are the yansui roots, which you need to use. I don't have enough, so I added this one. This is still yansui, but this is the body. And then you have shallots. Okay, and you chop this. All right, you crush this. You don't have to make a fine chop. You just need to release the oils from the spices. You can also use a food processor if you want to. Here, this is just a rough chop, okay? We just need, as I said, to chop it, uh, to crush it, so you release the flavors and the oils from the spices. And then we have the pepper, the white and the black pepper. And then you have brown sugar. And then you have... Uh, I want to show you how ketchup manis looks like. Ketchup manis is actually a soy sauce with a very strong molasses flavor. In case you cannot buy ketchup manis, you can just use soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and then you add uh, molasses, about one tablespoon molasses. So here, you have oyster sauce. All right, we mix this together. And then we have coconut milk. Okay. This is the brand that I like to use, but here. You can also buy fresh coconut. Here, this is ketchup manis. It's pronounced ketchup, it's not ketchup. Okay? You can buy this in the supermarket in the oriental section. If you don't have that, you just use soy sauce, dark soy sauce, then add one tablespoon of molasses. Okay? Then every time you marinate, always add the oil last. If you add the oil first, what happens is the meat will be coated with the oil so it will not absorb the marinade here okay this is the oil use regular cooking oil and then what you're supposed to do next is you marinate this in the refrigerator for about uh, three to four hours another way so you don't have to wait for uh, three to four hours is to do this you slightly squeeze the meat or massage the meat until all of the marinade is absorbed okay see it's starting to dry up now what you do is you just toss it like this and massage it gently all right and then we add last cornstarch or tapioca starch Okay, the secret to the tapioca starch is first it helps to bind all the seasoning all the marinade and another thing also it gives a certain gloss to your uh, 
barbecue. The muping is usually found in the streets. This is like a street food, street barbecue. Right? See? So it's dry now. So it means the marinade has been absorbed. So let's uh, skewer this. Okay? To skewer, it's like, uh, you know, uh, making a running stitch. But don't do it like that. All right, you have to keep it like this because the meat shrinks. And then like this again. So your barbecue should look like this. I don't like your barbecue to look like that. Okay, you should not be able to see the stick. Okay, okay let's grill our mooping. I don't have a charcoal grill, so I'm just using a grill pan. done now so we'll take this out then you wipe the sticks before you serve this 